Hello and welcome to another training video for Enlight POS powered by Dark. Today we're going to be taking a look at the assembly section. To reach this section you can get to it right here from the main menu. We're just going to click on the assembly button. I'm going to enter my PIN. In the assembly section the goal is to assemble the orders after they've come out of whatever cleaning process you've employed. So we should have, depending on whether you're using tags or you're using heat seal, you should have a, a big pile of clothes somewhere coming out of the machines and we have to sort them back into the proper orders for each client. In this module we do this by entering either the heat seal barcode number by scanning it or entering the invoice number and the system will tell us in what spot to place that garment. Ideally with this module you'd be using our Lara product. It makes it very easy to assemble the garments quickly. If you don't have Lara, you can also use this product by dividing your assembly area into numbered locations. So say for example if you have 50 spots for customer orders to be assembled, then you just number that long hook and organize it into spaces of 1 through 50. And then you can still use this module without using the Lara system. So let's get started. We're going to begin with entering an order. In this example, we would not be using heat seal. We would be just using the printed tags that come from the system. So I could grab a garment out of the, the pile, and I see that the tag says 837-1. So I would come back here into the assembly module and I would key in 837-1. The system quickly tells me that I should put this in spot number one, that this was from an order 837-1 containing three pieces and I've assembled the first of the three pieces. If I were to grab a different garment, let's say it's from a different order, this one says 837-2, the system then tells me that this is a dry cleaning order. This is our service tag over here. And that it also has three pieces and I've assembled the first. The order belongs to Diane Prince and the destination for this order is the north side route. If this was going to a different store in my firm, it would have that store name like dark cleaners or light cleaners. This destination field would only be visible if you have multiple stores and also it must be configured. So if you have multiple stores and this is something that you would like to have configured, please notify your support team. We'll enable this feature immediately. Okay, now let's say that we were using heat seal and I grab one of the garments from the pile and I scan the heat seal barcode. This was a little bit different. The system found the garment right away. It tells me that I should put it on spot number three. This was piece one of one belongs to this customer. These are the two routes the customer is assigned to. The main difference this time was that we completed this. So we've scanned all the pieces that belong to this order. And so the assembly module is showing us everything in the color green to let us know that it's complete. I can continue working so I could scan another garment that I found. And it's going to show me that I should put it on spot four. And again, it shows me that I've scanned one of three pieces for this order. You'll notice that the one that is complete remains there. So the system is not going to assign any more garments to spot three until we clear that spot. So in the normal process, we would continue scanning or entering tag numbers until we have enough green records so that it's time to move them over to the rack. Just to continue discussing the process, you'll see that this is orange, so this one is still being worked. This is the one that we just did, one of three on spot number four for order 836-1. I'm going to enter another one for 837-2. So now we see it up here. We've scanned two or three pieces. I'm gonna do it one last time so you can see it turn green, 837-2. Now this order is ready. Everything turns green and the employee knows to put that order there. When the order is complete, when the item turns green, the system will also print out the invoice for that order. If you haven't seen how the invoices look, you can go back to our video on the printed documents and you'll have an example of what the invoice looks like and the information it contains. So now that we understand how this module works, let's look at these buttons over here on the right side to see what else we can do. So if I was to enter another item or scan it, 
if I'm working on a touch screen on a tablet I could use this instead of hitting enter on my keyboard I could use this of course if you were using a scanner it would hit enter for you automatically so you wouldn't have to go through this step but this green button is simply to add it to the order so now we scan this is 836-1 now we have scanned two or three pieces of that order the next is the print button in order to use the print button you just select the order that you want to print the print button enables you'll see that it was a grayish blue before I can click on this and nothing happens if I check one of the boxes or I can check multiple boxes I hit the print button and the system prints the invoice for that order so that I can put it with the hook if I wanted to again the system can print the order when the order is complete or we can print the order when the first item is added it's a setting that we can customize you let us know which one works best for you and we'll get that added the next button is the clear button and this is the one that's used to free up spots once an order has been fully assembled so for example over here these two orders are complete all of their pieces have already been assembled they're waiting on the hook the invoice is printed we put that on the hook as well and these are get ready to be moved to the rack section so when an employee takes these orders off the assembly hooks we check here we'll check both of them and then we hit the clear button this removes them and frees up those spots so now the next time that an order is entered it will get assigned to one of the spots that have been cleared finally we have the history button the history button is where you go not just to see the history of all the actions that have been taken but you can also correct your mistakes so for example let's take a look at this 837-1 and this 836-1 before we move I'm just going to add one more item to 837-1 there we go, now it's sitting at two of three. And now let's go into history. In the history section, it's going to show us the last 500 entries that have been made into the assembly module. From here, we can start to edit if we make a mistake. So for example, I had just scanned the second of the three pieces belonging to this 837-1. If for whatever reason I made a mistake, I can simply come here to assembled pieces and I can change that to, to a one. The system is going to tell me that it made the update and when I close and go back it shows me now that I've only got one of three pieces scanned for 837-1 so that when I reach the correct piece I can just re-enter it again 837-1 and now we're back to two of three pieces scanned let's go back to history over here when you're working with heat seal barcodes the changes or the edits are a little bit more involved because you've also have to tell it what barcode you're removing. So for example, I'm going to take our 836-1 and I'm going to say that I made a mistake. So instead of having two pieces, we really only scanned one piece. And now we've made the update, but this order has barcodes tied to it. So I can see here under assembled barcodes, these are the barcodes that I've said I've already assembled. So I've got my 836-1 for the pants and my barcode for the heavy sweater. So I removed one of those items just now because I said I made a mistake. So whatever um, barcode I have made a mistake with is the one I would remove. Let's say for example that it's this heavy sweater. So I'm just going to hit this X and remove it from the order. Now much the same way that we did for the invoice, this 837-1, now we're standing at one piece assembled and only one barcode assembled. So if I go back to this screen, our 836-1 only shows one of three pieces. Let's go back into history so we can see some more of the fields that are here. So in this column, it shows us the barcodes that are assembled. This is the one that we just manipulated in order to correct the mistake that we had made. Over here it shows the total number of pieces for an order. These are the number of pieces that are pending for that order. And over here, it'll show us the pending barcode. So if we were working with 836-1. If I come over here, it shows me that these two barcodes are still pending to be assembled. And here's the heavy sweater that we had just removed from the assembled side. The last column over here is just the customer that the order belongs to. So this is how you work with the assembly section. We discussed how you can enter uh, an invoice number 
from a printed tag or you can enter a heat seal barcode into this field. The system is going to find that order listed here and also tell you in what spot to place that order to properly assemble it. We discussed in the history section how to correct our mistakes, how to correct them if we're using the printed tags, and how to correct them if we're using barcodes, and where to go to eliminate barcodes that were assembled incorrectly, and remove them with this little red X. We also discussed how we can print our invoices for these orders, and we discussed how we clear completed orders when they're removed from the assembly section and moved to the rack. So this completes our video for the assembly module. I hope that you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. From everyone here at DARK, thank you so much for your time and your attention, and especially thank you for your business. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.